I got a very, very, very special guest today. North Carolina's in the building. King Belly is here with me. Mm. It's up is out now. How are you today, my brother? Right now, I'm doing good, man. I can't complain for real. Yo, congratulations on, on the, all the success of It's Up since you dropped it in September. Super dope project. I'm a big fan of it. And it's kind of like your first real, like, big release, too. Why this tape and why this time for, uh, for I guess, your first, like, kind of major release? Cause I, cause my, because my first mixtape, it was I'm Hungry, right? I put it out and I seen a whole lot of numbers. So now it was like, now we're going to take this next one and we're going we're gonna to pipe it up a little bit more. So mm-hmm. It's Up, we put it out. Everywhere, as soon as it almost got done being mixed, and we put that out everywhere, and it just turned up like like the same way you say you called this morning. It turned up most definitely. It's definitely like some real turn up vibes. Making this project was it like hard for you to make this during the time where everything was locked down? Like why? Like how was that for you? Because with a project with so much energy, it's kind of like crazy that we can't properly turn up to this project outside. It's right, a- right, right. It did a whole lot to the whole situation. It did a whole lot to it because it made it a little bit harder because, like you said, we couldn't promote it as far as being outside, you know what I'm saying, but only a couple of places. But it made it a little bit more interesting to do it because it was like, yo, this is a pandemic and ain't a lot of artists doing this. So with that being done and it got finished and put out and had the feedback that it had all in the pandemic era, it just felt like it just felt good. Like you was like one of the only artists, like one of the only artists in North Carolina to do something like that. So right. that Jones, that Jones, it felt good. Yo, and a few of my favorite joints on that. So we, of course, we got problem. We got RNS, and and I can't go without naming my favorite joints without talking about this Big Bank record with you and Tusi. Right, right. Uh, that that what a first of all, what a dope way to start off the project. And I think and you and Tusi really like y'all slid on that. What is this? How long have y'all known each other? How did this relationship come about? How did this record come about with that? Well, the relationship came about because his manager and my manager they they real close. You know what I'm saying? Mm, okay. So uh, Toot was down here and uh, we hopped in the studio. I think it was like, it was in the morning time. We stopped in the studio in the morning time. And from the morning time all the way to like 10 o'clock, we had uh, we had finished the song. We had did a video. Everything was done to it within the you morning. Only like one day. Only one day. It only took one day from a.m. to p.m. And, and we had everything finished for it. So, I have to tell you how impressive that is. <laughs> Most definitely, most definitely. Because, <laughs> like, because, like, I don't know anybody who has done a collab record like that and has been able to get everything done in an entire day. That's fucking insane. Appreciate it, appreciate it. Yeah, we definitely, we definitely turned up on that, man. Because it was like, we ain't, we won't really rushing for time, but it was like, could we do it? And we got in there and just snapped it out. As soon as we got right. the first piece done, and we hit the video, it was like, oh yeah, that was that was that was smoother than we thought it would. Right, because Tusi had a big year in, in, in 2020, so I'm sure he was moving around a lot. So for you, you were like, yo, I want to seize this opportunity and do all of this, like, now. Yeah, most definitely. Most definitely. I needed all that right then. So we got that done. I appreciate that. Shout out, too, for doing that for me. So, yeah. what, are your, what are some of your favorite joints on this project? Like, what's your favorite? What was your favorite record on this project that you feel like maybe didn't get the shine that, uh, that it deserved or that you feel like, you know, it should have gone crazier than, than, you know, than the fans took it? Daily. Daily, okay. Daily. You know, featuring uh, my homeboy Sauce, you know. So that's what I thought should have turned up, you know what I'm saying, for real, though. Not even some fact the song was so hard. It was like, and then when we was in the studio, it was like the vibe, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So it was like, yo, you you feeling this like I'm feeling it. The song is just, it was there. The beat was on point. The melody, everything straight was to the whole record was like fire. So I'm thinking in my head, yo, that's going to take take off. I had just hit him up by the time we finished it. We linked up in Miami or whatever. And as soon as we finished it, I'm texting him. I'm like, yo, this, this is going to this is gonna blow right here. This song right here is hard. I'm letting my people hear the stuff, and they telling me, like, yo, that, that's hard. Even from the hook to the verses, it's hard. What we do? So I thought that one was really going to turn up. I fuck with, yo, make sure if y'all watching this, make sure y'all go run up daily, man. Because that's because if he says it deserves it, it definitely deserves a super dope record as well definitely. on the project. Um, and that kind of leads me into my next thing since we're still talking about It's Up. I heard It's Up 2 is on the way. I've seen some some chatter online. I've seen some rumors. What's up with It's Up 2? What are we doing with that? It's Up 2, man. We turned up all the way. These This It's Up 2 is going to bring you a whole new perception of King Belly, period. 
know what I'm saying? From the first from the first joint that you heard, it's up to it's up too. You gonna see a whole lot of improvement. You gonna see a whole lot of like it's cra- it's crazy and it's crazy because I'm saying it myself because I've seen I've seen mm-hmm. it. That, you know what I'm saying? So I know for a fact this one is gonna drop more draws. Than, I mean more draws than. More draws, more draws, more draws, everything. Hey, everything. I, I everything I mean. You, you meant it. You meant it. You meant it. Got <laughs> some draws and some jaws. Hey, I like that. Yeah, most definitely. <laughs> so, I know that's gonna do that. I know it's gonna do that. So, y'all be tuned in, man. It's coming. I'm telling you, it's coming. So, uh, with that, is is it mostly gonna be you again, or are you gonna have some special, uh, some surprises on there for the people? Oh man, I got a couple of surprises. I got a couple of surprises up there. Some Not big even. surprises. Oh, they big, they big, you know, they big. So we're gonna um put it out and make sure y'all tune in because I got some I got some surprises up there. You know, I got a people come a couple people from different families, you know. Mm-hmm. So I'm telling you, y'all gonna like it, y'all gonna love it. Cause I like it and I love it. <laughs> I'm sure it's gonna be dope. When is when can we when expect that? What are, what are we thinking? We thinking about the summertime, maybe? You know what? You today. You're like the second person to say something about summertime being being a job. I feel so, like it's like you got winter, you got winter, you got spring, and you got summertime. And and I the reason why I say that is because like you know artists like yourself who make it's up music is like a very kind of like summertime spring vibe. You know what I'm right, saying? Right. That's why so, I ask that. But yeah, most definitely. So that that's what I think we might be doing. You know, I think that might be the move just to do it around summertime, just to just to have a. Just to have a time where you be like, yeah, this is this this is the time to listen to music. So everybody doing whatever they're doing outside, in the car riding, doing whatever they're doing. So that'll be a good time to drop it too. I think that might be the era. Yo, and I'm excited for that. I'm excited for that. And you know, I was also, you know, of course, listening to the rest of your uh your discography. And I really also and Juice Are Up was such a moment too. Like that that shit right. was like that shit was such a moment. I think that that was a great way for you to kind of like start the rollout before the album and kind of get some buzz at the, at the beginning of the pandemic. How did that record come about? Oh, that record was crazy. It, um, crazy. it came about it, real crazy. It came about with me and Rini, Um, We linked up. Well, in the beginning, my manager came to me on some stuff like, hey, man, we want you to, um, I got something I want you to hop on. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Bring back like an old flow back. So I did it. Put my verse up there. When I put my verse up there, we left the second verse open. Mm-hmm. I think I had wrote one. We left the second one open. And me and um, my role manager, Judd, we were sitting there thinking like, yo, we, well, Judd was like, bro, we need a female up there. I was like, well, that would be, you need a female up there. You know what I'm saying? That'd be fine. So we got to thinking and then we both thought like, bro, what if we get Rennie up there? You know what I'm saying? So once we once that happened, we got a few phone calls in, emails and stuff like that. And uh, we linked up with Rennie. She did a show down here. And right after the show, we hopped in the studio. It was, it, bro, it was early in the morning. It was early in the morning. Hopped in the studio. She put her verse up there. We got that done, and then we took off. It took off from there, and we made it as a song. I, we dropped it as a single, and we put it on the mix too. Yo, so, y'all killed that shit, and Renny, Renny really gave you a really yeah. dope verse too. And she, oh, I feel like Renny always delivers whenever, well, like on, right. on features or anything. She always be coming with a hundred percent with that energy. Most definitely, most definitely. So shout out sis for that too, you know. So um, that's how it went down, bro. And it, and it went up. You know, so it was on the billboards. Um, it got around. It made it to like I think it was like in the top fifty. Come on, it had to. Oh. Ha- I had to have hit some strip clubs too. You know what oh, I mean? turn the strip clubs out. Turn the strip clubs out. Like um, Swamp had us coming to the A. You know what I'm saying for the song. Did you did you get to go to like a club and, and it was playing like uh, like a strip club? Did you get to go and it was playing? How did that feel for you hearing your your record and and having all these uh, beautiful beautiful women dancing to your song? It was. Crazy man, it was crazy because I'm like, I'm like, yo, they don't even know. And then you walk in some clubs, right? They don't know. They've been hearing the songs because DJs might spin you. You know what I'm saying? They be hearing the songs. So when you go in there and you perform, and they be like, oh snap, I be hearing this song in here. You know what I'm saying? It turn them up even more because they they already have listened, and you know what I'm saying? No other song. So some places it was more lit than the others because they knew the songs. But everywhere I went, it was turned up. You know what I'm saying? Due to that record. And it's it's crazy because I don't know. It was crazy to me. Yo, so. I I love that for you, man. I, I can only imagine what that feeling was walking in and like no, it, it, you like looking at all the girls and you like they have no idea this is me. Right. <laughs> right. That's what happens. And I'd be like, they don't even know until I grab a mic. 
I perform my first two songs, and then I get to that song. And, they and like, then all oh, of a sudden, they're like, oh, he got the money. Go over that. Yeah. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Most definitely. He got Most all the definitely. ones. Most definitely. And so, so I, I also heard you got a collab tape coming. Tell me about this. Yes, sir. Um, I got a collab tape with me and another North Carolina artist, Jonah Rain. Right? We, um, we got a, it started off with just a song. We got a song out right now, single Honey Bourbon. Make sure y'all go get that. You know what I'm saying? It's on Apple Music, YouTube. We got a video out for it. Make sure y'all go check that out. Then um, in the mix of that, we end up hopping back in the studio with each other okay. and finishing the whole mixtape. You know what I'm saying? We got a whole mixtape. I'm not sure on the date of that mixtape, but I know we got a, we're got we shooting a video for it. You know what I'm saying? Um, I think it's on the 27th. So. That's dope. And so I also want to ask, you know, being from North Carolina and with, and with the Carolinas kind of having, you know, North and South Carolina both having such big moments in hip hop. How do you feel about like your place and, and, and with where with everything going on around you? You know what I'm saying? Because there's so many, like I said, emerging talents, big talents, like kind of having like a, a, a movement down there. How do you feel like about the current state of like hip hop from where you at and like your place in it right now? Well, OK, as far as anything. I see, I see a growth in the impact of music down here in North Carolina. Mm. You know what I'm saying? But the only thing that I don't see any any different than any other place, you know what I'm saying? It's not a lot of basins in North Carolina. You know, you got different places that's known for music. You got different places that's known for music. Like Atlanta had it, always have their era. Um, just so happened Alabama had their era. Um, any other place, you know, Louisiana at one point in time. So everybody had their era, and it just so happened that through the pandemic, our era came up across because Tootsie mm -hmm. jumped on right before the era. You know right. what I'm saying? Right. Tootsie jumped out there far South Carolina. Rennie jumped out there. Then you got um, a whole lot of other people. Who I think it's uh, uh, black. The, the baby's yeah, from black, the ba black. the baby's from South Carolina or North Carolina. He's from the, the Carolina. baby. From, he's from North Carolina. He's from Charlotte. Yeah, he's from so North you Carolina. Him, you got Stunner. Like it, it's it's when we popped out. It was like nobody was expecting it because, like North Carolina, they have, they never really had a a big breakout. You know what I'm saying? Besides in sports, for mm -hmm. sports, you know. So unless it's been a couple of years ago, so now it's just like seeing that we have a breakout and seeing artists really understand that we're having a breakout. Like this is time you you see the improvement, you see the moving, you see the, you know what I'm saying? Different artists here, different artists there. You see them and the impact that it's having on just North Carolina turning up. So I feel like it's different from my stage because. I'm still, I'm I'm a basin, you know what I'm saying? Like far as mm -hmm. artists, I'm, but I'm still up there. I'm known in different places, but I'm still up there. It's a different level than a lot of artists down here. But it's like they still <laughs> put the same energy like I do. You know what I'm saying? So it's it's a whole lot of growth, and that's how I feel like it's a little bit different for me. But North Carolina is really turning up, and it's it's crazy. Man, I love that for you. I love that. And also, so you were telling me that we got some more freestyles on the way. What are these freestyles that you're doing? You putting them on YouTube, IG? Like, what's kind of what? What are we doing with this? And they going they're going straight on social media. You know what I'm saying? I might put on IG, TikTok, different places, and on, because these these came from years ago. Like mm. I say, like nine, ten years ago, I started off just doing freestyles. You know, like putting them on Facebook, Instagram. You know what I'm saying? And they started to get attention, and within that, starting to get attention. I, I got a chance to perform at a song, got a chance to perform and get with a, a manager and, you know what I'm saying, assist, all of that. But I only been in the studio a year. You know what I mean? So I've been I've been rapping. Them is about to come out. All the freestyles I did over the years, I'm about to drop them. You know what I'm saying? I ain't even dropping them as far as going to the studio and dropping them. I'm shooting, I'm doing little videos for them, you know, like, and then I'm also doing the challenges, like the beatbox challenge and all the challenges come out. So they're just freestyles I keep I kick out just for like entertainment. Oh, I love that. That's dope. And they're all old exactly. joints. So it's kind of like you repurposing old stuff and kind of giving it back to the right. people. Right. All my old stuff. And they're all based on stories. All of my old stuff. That's what I like about my old stuff is mm. actual stories. So they're going to come out. I'm dropping them. Be sure to make sure y'all follow me on IG so you can see all of them. That, and you got some merch coming out. Is what you're wearing right now your mer mer uh, excuse me, your merch. Drinking, drinking. Blunt smoking 40s. Is this your merch right here? No, this right here this is my man C man. You know, we rock in the cook. <laughs> okay, I fuck with that shirt man. though. That's hard. Most definitely, you know what I'm saying? So we fucking with the cookies, but I do got some merch on the way. We got some more merch on the way. I had the King Belly shirts, 
know what I'm saying? I got some different things. I got some um, jackets coming out. Hey, Anybody? where can the people get that? The information we posted on me, my manager, anybody, you know, in the bio, y'all make sure y'all check it out. We're going to post it. Um, we're going to post the website. We're going to post the link. You can make sure you can get it. Make sure y'all check them out. I'm telling you. Yeah, for real. And some, sometimes I do drafts and stuff, maybe give away and deliberately, you know, deliver them personally to you. So make sure y'all check out the live games up there and everything for you to win some merch. Yo, so. this this has been so much fun chopping it up with you today. What else do the people got to be on the lookout for from you? What else do you got coming up that we got to know about? A whole lot of stuff that I don't know until it get there because time don't waste. So every day I'm just, uh, uh, I'm on something new. So, but I got more videos coming. You know, I got a video to every song on It's Up. So make sure y'all go check that out on YouTube if you haven't done that. You know what I'm saying? Then I got a couple more skits coming out. I got some skits coming, you know. You, you see, you can see some of them on my page. And uh, go check my Twitter out. Make sure y'all follow me on Twitter. Subscribe on YouTube. You're going to see a whole lot of stuff, man. It's all entertainment 24-7. So hey. make sure y'all check it out. Hey, I love that. Yo, I appreciate you for taking the time out of your day to chop it up with me, man. Congratulations on all the success. I'm looking forward to It's Up 2 when it drops, hopefully by the summertime. Uh, but let the people know where they can follow you at, your Instagram, your Twitter, all that good stuff. Anything else you want to let them know, go ahead. Now is the time to do it. Most definitely. Look, all platforms, all social media, you know, it's King Belly Music. King Belly Music, everything, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube. If you can put it on your phone, King Belly going to pop up there. Make sure y'all go do that. K-I-N-G-B-E-L-I Music, all platforms. Go follow me right now. Hey, the, yo, there it is. Make sure y'all go run up. It's up while we are here. It's up to on the way. Make sure you follow King Belly on all social media. Until next time, it's King Belly on the radar, baby. You know Bow.